All right, here for another Scars of Mirrodin draft, and we open up an interesting pack. We have Argent Sphinx and a Scudder. Not a whole lot else except this Blast. Uh, tough pick here. Blue is kind of under undervalued. I feel as though it is um, thought of as kind of the worst color. So maybe if everybody else thinks that, we can get shift some blue cards. Um, it's hard passing these awesome cards though. I mean, Scudder is definitely good. Galvanic Blast is definitely good too, but oh, something about 4-3 Flyer just seems really solid. I've actually never played with this guy, but I've played against it, and it kind of ruined my day. So I'm going to dive in to the blue route. Okay. Uh, here we have some interesting picks. We have really only two cards to choose from. Slice and Twine, or Twain, and Glimmer Point Stag. Which I like both. I guess blue white is kind of maybe has more flyers and maybe more periphery. Uh, Slice and Twine though, solid card. This draws you a card. Oh, that's tough. And there's obviously no blue cards here, so I think the Stag is probably going to be a little better. Stag is just a good all-around card, hopefully. Get rid of some counters. If I'm playing against Poison, add some counters to my Tumble Magnet or whatever. So, sure. <laughs> okay. Well darn. Lots of good red going around. Okay, so we have Halt Order in a gold mirror and a palladium mirror. I think our, our picks here, we have the shower here, but eh, I, don't, I don't know if we'll be able to do that. We'll just keep passing the red. Um, whole order is quite good. But uh, this gold mirror I think will be just fine. Kind of power us up to our four drop. Yeah, plus it's kind of on color. Um, Acolyte's pretty good. Just makes things kind of awkward. I really do want this Halt Order to table, and I expect it to. So it's plenty of cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's still plenty of cards in this pack. So I'm going to pick up the Mirror. And see where that takes me. Ooh. Replica, it's a one for us, awesome. There's this Barb Battle Gear, I don't know if we're that aggressive of a deck to play, but maybe. We also have the Galvanizer, but mm, I don't know if we'll have that many mirrors for it to be good. Uh, we have a Disperse, but I'd rather have the Artifact Creature that does the same thing. I mean, the card for card, these are pretty much the same, and well, that's a creature that's not my end. So there is that. Plus, it's more of a trick. I don't know. I just still think the Ruffica will be fine. Our Battle Gear is pretty good, though. Card passing that up. If we get a lot of flyers. No, I think we'll be fine with the Ruffica. Kind of playing a controller route here. Okay, we have a Silver Mirror will be okay. We have Chrome Seed, which is pretty good for Metalcraft. So cloth sword here. And another replica, but it's green. And I really want the mirror, but I think this Chrome Steed will just be better. Yeah, I don't I don't see picking up a a mirror over a Chrome Seed. 
I guess that means we'll be in the white metal craft. Which I suppose is fine. Another acid web. That card is just so good. That sucks though. Oh man. Could have two scutters. Card's insane. But we also have this nice shield here. I enjoy this card very much. I think it is a great card. You just play it. Gives you Metalcraft. Just three mana. Give a creature vigilance and plus hope plus three, which is a huge amount in this format. And the vigilance is completely relevant, so sucks that we have to pass this scutter. Oh man. Do we wanna just drop one of these? No, we're pretty committed in here so far, so one of the things about Scars of Mirrodin is you kinda have to commit to something pretty early and stick to your guns. I mean, look, we're, we're getting past a flesh allergy, but so be it. And stone faction, but there's also this, also this sky eels uh, school here. So we're gonna pick up on that. That card goes pretty late for some reason. I think it's a fine card. Um, Wall of Tangle Cord, pretty good too. But we have a. A wall here and a wall here, so it'll be all right. Uh, black still coming, but we do still have some evasion. Get in there for two is probably relevant, and possibly making our chrome steed better. Who knows? Would like it to disperse, but don't really have anything to abuse it with right now. Go for it, draw a card, and bleak coven vampires. I think this would be good against the right deck, so I found even in a plurith right deck I didn't play this card, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the soul fairy here too. I really don't think this card is unplayable, but uh you know if I'm not playing against in fact I might might have a chance to play it. Here we have another wall. <laughs> Apparently we're just playing the uh, slow the ground up game and lose to uh, these. Lose to those scutters that we passed. So we have the Acolyte and Halt Order, which I like the Halt Order better because it draws you a card and kind of lots of stuff. Uh, that's really pretty bad. So I'll just take it just to signal signaling purposes. Wow. Uh, that deck isn't going to be drafted here. And I picked up something here. Being distraction, is that it? White Sun's Passage, I think. Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the Hide Land. Okay, so interesting pack one. Pack two. Wow. <laughs> we have Volition Reigns, Trigon, Livewire Lash, uh, Woman, woman, Grid, Drake, and Tumble Magnet, along with Origin, Spellbomb. Well, <laughs> I think we're going to go in with the Volition Reigns here and see what we table. Probably the Drake, which is fine. I mean, there's still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 cards here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. There's actually 10 playables, but count that out, there's 9. So we're going to take the Volition Reigns and somehow before. Uh, oh, wow. We could have had two of these. 
but I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, somehow before I did this draft, I was thinking, you know, I, I'm probably going to open up some blue deck and be some sort of controller style deck and play things like plated Sea Strider and just walls and just get there in the air. And it's looking like I was accurate. Because there's this Dark Slick Drake, which is a fine card. Um, maybe you should take the Spell Bomb over it. I don't know. I think the Drake will probably be just a little better, though. Spell Bombs are pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. At worst, it draws you a card. So is this. I think it's a creature. That's yeah, a tough call. You know what? But he's flying, so I'm just going to go with that. That's just... It's just how I feel. Could be wrong. Ooh, Dark Steel Sentinel is a great card, but so is a rest. Ugh. I was just thinking I want Dark Steel Sentinel. But can I pass up an arrest for it? Rest is pretty much premium removal and we're kinda lacking, so definitely need a way to deal with whatever bomb somebody draws or plays. Really wish I could take this sentinel though, because that it's pretty good at mucking the game up. But so be it, maybe another one will come around. We only really need one. So take this arrest. Okay, here we have Dark Seal Juggernaut, which is okay, and a Glint Hawk, which is also okay. With our our shield to bounce. Don't really have anything to pick up though for artifacts, so probably not that great. Um He's a solid dude, but I kind of want to be... Yeah, I think he'll be fine, actually. I don't know what else we'd take over it. We should have enough dorks at the beginning to make him good enough. And we can give him Vigilance. Um, yeah, I'm going to take it over the Glint Hawk, because we really don't have anything to pick up and abuse with Glint Hawk. And... Sun Chaser is kind of meh on its own. Okay, here we have pins. We have Copper Mirror. We have a Scrap Diver, which we can get it later if we really wanted it. And I'm thinking we're going to take the pins here. Flying First Strike is definitely relevant. And that'll give us just one more equipment. Equipment's really good in this set. Unlimited. No love for the culling dice, unfortunately, when there's this pin here. Yeah, I think still taking it over the mirror is fine. It's not very on color. Oh, another Volition Reigns. Riddle Smith and a Sky Guard. Well, so if we take the Volition Reigns here, we're definitely going to need um, more mirrors. I can see why this goes around so much, though, because you're taking such dork of creatures, but it's still removal, so. I think our deck can take advantage of this. Okay. First celebration, huh? We have a Drake and a Glint Hawk. Uh, once again.